Hello everybody, today we are back again with Eco. Alright, so we're in our same house, same place as before, same time. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, actually try and do some hunting real fast before we get into the crafting, because I really want to see... Oh, no, 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 don't shoot. Can I pick the arrow back up? Pick it up. Oh, he just lost an arrow. Okay, well, that, that's too bad. Um, we do know where to go and craft more. That guy is very generous and allows us to craft stuff over there. But, for now, we're just gonna try and do some hunting. I don't know which one we should go for, because I feel like they might charge us. But this one seems to be standing still, so we're gonna try... Ooh. Do we wanna take you out, or you? Let's try this guy. He's downhill, he's right in front of us. Did I hit him? I don't know if I hit him or not. I think I just scared him. I don't think I hit him. Okay, let's try a different one. So it does have quite a bit of drop on it when we're trying to shoot it. Okay, so let's try it up here. Go for the heart. Go for the heart. I hit it in the butt. Okay, so we did hit it. So let's try and watch this one. Stick with this guy. Come on. Don't you move. Did I hit him? I don't know if I hit him. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, where is he? There, whoa, 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 sit still. Sit still, little buddy. I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not. Oh, it's very difficult to see. Let's try taking out a wolf instead. Oh, well, that didn't seem to work at all. Oh, we got him, okay. I beat him in with my axe. Oh, I feel a little bit bad for that. Can I do that again? Oh. I don't, I don't want to kill anymore. Never mind. I'm so, I'm, please don't hurt me. <laughs> okay. We're going to try and spare the rest of our environment. We did kill uh, one wolf. I don't know if I killed it with the axe. It looked like I did. Um, but apparently I'm a terrible shot with a bow. So we're going to need to try and get many more arrows than that. Because that <laughs> was not a great start. All right. But let's go ahead and head back and see what it takes to craft a fire. So that way we can actually try and cook this meat rather than just eat it as it is. Uh, if that's even possible. Okay, so we can't quite do anything yet because we don't meet the room requirements. So, must be placed in a closed room, create a room first, must be placed in a room of volume 10 or above, measure the room with one other craft tables, containing the room must be built with at least 10 blocks, the type log. Okay, so we do need to close in our room. I think we can't have this giant window here. So let's try doing that and see if that changes anything. Okay, so you can see that now fixed everything, so we can actually craft this one now. Uh, we do need three logs again, so let's go ahead and try and grab. We have two here, so we're going to need to get one more. Now, we did leave some more over here, so we're going to grab some of this, and then we can go and craft that uh, book. I don't know how that's going to work exactly, but we can do it now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Give me one of these. Oh, that's still too big. Oh, I have to put these down. There we go. Alright, so we traded two for three. <laughs> I guess it works. We can always come back for that other one though. But before we do that, let's go and craft up this book and see exactly what it gets us. Okay, we're back in here. So let's go ahead and try crafting up this carpentry book. So we put these in here. There we go. Okay, so we need 30, not three. Oh, okay. That is a lot more than <laughs> I thought. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and leave the logs in there for now. And let's go ahead and set a fee per hour so that nobody can really use this and take our logs. Uh, we'll put it as, uh, sure, raw meat. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's leave that there for now. And we'll try and slowly stack up those logs. Obviously, that's going to take a little while, but uh, that's okay if it does. Oh, no. Do we have to be holding all of those logs? Can't you just hold these for me? Just be a bud. It would seem he does not want to hold them for us. So we're going to go ahead and throw them in this chest instead uh, and leave them there for now. Or not. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we wait, okay, we got to grab it like that. Can I then right click on this? Is it in there now? It is. And can I leave it? I can. Okay, so that's how we had to do it. We had to simply right click on it, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to work like that, but it does work, so that's what really matters. Okay, so far we have 13 of the 30, so we're actually getting pretty close there. Uh, but before we do that, we want to work on the skill point. Now, we can get skill points by getting nutrition and doing several different things. So we do have this meat, so we're gonna try just eating it. I already ate one and it seemed to do quite a bit. 
So let's eat it again. Uh, I guess we'll eat quite a few of them. And you can see there's different colors of stuff going on here now. They were eating meat rather than just berries. So you can see the stomach contents actually. Uh, we have meat, berries, and fern. So we have a pretty healthy different, uh, pretty healthy variety, I guess, of what we're eating. So it is nice to see that because that'll definitely increase our daily skill points. So you can see it's currently at 39.3, which is very good. That's a lot of skill points. Uh, so definitely good to see that. Um, but I have gone ahead and collected all of that. And our home is looking pretty nice now. We just sort of want to get this crafting table. Um, but we're going to go ahead and chop down uh, one more tree. I think we'll go ahead and get the biggest tree and go for a sort of opposite of what we were going for before. And we're going to try and figure out how to plant some trees today as well uh, and see if we can do that. I believe we do actually just have the seeds and we just sort of have to plant them. So we're going to try and do that. Okay, so I believe we now have enough. We have 34, which means we can go ahead and order this. Now it is going to take five minutes, so it's obviously going to be here for quite a while. So I think we can leave it there. And let's see. Yes, we can just leave it there, and it'll finish on its own. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it and <laughs> uh, let, it, let it do its own thing. Uh, and you can see we still have a little bit left here, so we're going to pick this up and go and throw it into our chest in here so that we can have that uh, extra bit of logs when we need it and there we go all right so we need to get this extra this extra skill point so that we can start doing some real crafting um, but before we do that we're gonna go back over to this guy's house and see what's sort of going on that fire is <laughs> I don't think that's where it goes oh, it's all sorts of buggy I probably need to change some settings to fix that <laughs> okay but let's see what this other sort of crafting stuff gets us um, so this one will get us boards, which is obviously the more uh, exact, I guess, stuff. So you're not then in a log cabin. You'll be in a boarded house, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we'll definitely try that out once we get our own stuff going. You can then craft paper, a butchery table, a Wainwright table, modern wood window. That sounds like a good one. I definitely want that one. Uh, wood window chair oh there's all sorts of different stuff you can craft and uh sawmill hmm so there actually is some pretty deep depth into this crafting system i sort of thought it was a lot more basic than this but it's really not um for this one we need building construction uh, for a door and i definitely do want to put a door on our house soon so <laughs> okay we've got lots and lots of stuff to work on a store Ooh, i want that one <laughs> i want to make a store Oh, I'm going to be a serious businessman. Don't you think so? Don't you think so, Stilla? <laughs> okay, let's head back home. You can see he's already making stairs. Like, he is on top of everything. They're just going at it. You sort of messed up your stairs there a little bit, bud. Yeah, yeah, this is not... I cannot walk up these stairs properly. You don't care. <laughs> okay. All right, let's head back home, though. So on our way home, we're going to go ahead and clean up some of these stumps because we don't want them just lying around everywhere. You guys know that I am picky about this sort of stuff. We can't just we can't just have random stumps looking around everywhere because it just it looks bad. It looks bad on us because we're chopping down trees and it looks bad on the environment because it just it's ugly. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and chop them down. Oh, we're getting so close to it now. So this is the carpentry skill book. Um so I think I don't know exactly how this works, but I think it just sort of opens up this skill tree. So you can see carpentry currently is like entirely blocked off. Uh, so we have to get the skill book to open it up and then we can unlock stuff in carpentry. And I believe that's how it works, but we're about to look and see because we just finished it. Let's look and see. Okay, so we put it in our bar. Oh, whoops. Let's get rid of that menu first. Then we head over to it and we just use it. What do I do with it? <laughs> Okay, right click to create a skill scroll for carpentry. You already know this skill. Oh, ooh, we got more property claim tags. Okay, so do we know, oh, we now know carpentry. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually place these, and I want to try this again. So does that just, what did that say? Wait, uh, carpentry scroll scroll created, re Ready to gain, read to gain skill or share with other players. You already know carpentry. Okay, so I guess we just sort of got this one for learning carpentry, I guess. 
Um, but we can share this with other players. I think for now we'll probably just put it in our chest. Uh, but we definitely want to get these placed in, place in these. All right, now our area is starting to look a little bit more even. Uh, <laughs> there's sort of a gap right here where we don't own it. And then we do own it, but that's <laughs> that's okay. We'll get more stuff to fill in that soon. Um, but we almost have another skill point. We're so close. But let's go ahead and look at some of the carpentry skills. So from this one, we get woodworking, which seems very useful. Uh, you then get woodworking efficiency and paper milling. So very interesting stuff. I don't think there's anything else in the carpentry skill tree. So eh, not the most exciting one, <laughs> but I'm definitely glad we did get it. Oh, it gave us the extra wood. So let's throw that in there. Um, now let's look at some of the other ones that we can get. Uh, glass working skill book. That sounds interesting. There's agriculture, advanced research, uh, baking, butchery, and carpentry. So I think the butchering is what we need to really uh, get the meat going. And it needs 20 raw meat. That is so much. And 50 boards. Oh my god. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we do have our other skill point now. So we can go ahead and uh, get that thing that we were looking at. Uh, it's not that one. Which one was it in? Is it this one? This is it. Workbench construction. So we put this one up. There we go. And we get rid of that. And now we just got to cycle over to our workbench. And we can place it. All right, let's uh, place it on the opposite side. Uh, which side looks like it's the front? It's hard to tell. I think this side is the front, though. Oh, no, it's the other side. It's definitely this side. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and place that right there. Oh, man, that fire. Look, if I look right there. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we can do now. Um, so we can make arrows, boards, torch, and campfire is what we want. We want the campfire. So we need logs. We already have the logs. We need stone. Oh, man, we need stone. So stone you have to get from having a different skill point in survival. So you need to go ahead and get mining to get the stone. So we don't have that one yet, um, but we do have other stuff. So the door, we need construction. So I definitely want this one. I don't know where we get construction from. So let's go ahead and look at that one because uh, we definitely need a door. That's important. <laughs> um, but we want the campfire. We want the door. We want the torch. We can go ahead and get the torch, um, and we can get boards as well. I want to try these boards out and see what they're like. See if they're just crafting or see if we can place them. So let's try out a few things. We've got plenty of board, or plenty of logs in here, so we're going to go ahead and grab them and uh, throw them over here. Okay, so now that we have those in the storage, we can then craft one board. Sure, it's going to take six seconds. Uh, I didn't want to make too many of them, though, because I'm not sure how that works exactly. All right, so then it is in the storage. we got two boards. And what? What do I do? Okay, so these aren't these aren't like the logs. You can't place these. So these are purely for crafting. So let's throw them in the chest uh, and leave them there for now. And then we can make arrows, and let's go ahead and make a torch. So we have four wood. We only want one torch, obviously, because that's not, that's not something that you're going to use all the time. Um, I don't know if it'll actually... Hmm, I don't know how that's going to work, but let's go ahead and grab it and see. Okay. So we then have these. We'll throw those in there, and we do need to get rid of this. <gasps> Look at our pretty torch. <laughs> Look at the flames we can make. I can set stuff on fire. Can I? Can I do that? Can I set stuff on fire? Tree? You want fire? <laughs> I'm trying to ruin the environment. Set the tree on fire. It doesn't seem to work. Okay, but we do have a fiery torch. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, um, let's see if we can throw this in the chest, and because I don't, I don't really want it that much right now. Can I put you in the chest? Can you stay in there? It, it can. Okay. We'll throw those in there as well. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that works. Um, why do you keep coming out? I don't want you. There we go. All right, so the next thing that we want to work on is probably collecting some more food uh, so that we can continue getting more skill points. So I think this sort of works as we digest this food, we get the skill points. So it's sort of a slow process uh, where we're burning off the enter or burning off the food and it turns into skill points, I guess. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting way of doing it. I actually do really like it. Like, it's really neat. Uh, but it's kind of odd, and I, I'm not exactly sure how it works yet. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and grab some more 
logs here so that we can make some arrows. We're going to go ahead and turn all of these into arrows. So every single one of them. There we go. 36 seconds. That's not too long. We'll leave it there. All right. We now have 24 arrows. That's so many. Um, but it should be enough to get us started with some real hunting. So let's get to it. Uh, now... We're going to probably end up leaving after we do go hunting. We're going to end this episode probably. Um, and then we're going to leave this world for a day. And we're going to come back to it tomorrow and see how different it was. Because the days do continue to go even while you're not here. So things can definitely change a lot. So it's a very temporary world. So we might have to do longer sessions. I'm not really sure yet. Ooh, what a good shot. Okay. Right in the face. Oh, I hit him right in the nose. Hit elk for one damage. All right, don't you run away. Don't you run away. Hit elk for one damage. Stay elk. Oh, oh, we killed an elk. Okay, so I can't... That arrow's gone. <laughs> I just sort of shot it. Uh, but look at what we did. Oh, did I kill you too, buddy? I'm very sorry. Uh, find the carcass to retrieve some delicious meat parts. Oh, we got six from that. What? We got five from the little wolf. Can I get the bunny? Oh, we got the bunny, too. We got one from the bunny. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. I don't think we killed the bunny. I think something else killed the bunny. I don't think that one was our fault, I hope. I'm not trying to kill the environment quite that much. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and eat this up and see how that affects our skill points. Look at that. Look at it grow. Ooh, that is nice. Okay, so that's, that's a big increase on our nutrition. So we can obviously get a lot more stuff going. Uh, and our nutrition daily skill points is up to 44.7. That's huge. That's a giant difference. Oh, we left some logs over here. Let's grab that. Let's go throw this in our chest. And then we'll go check out our buddy and see how far ahead he is uh, from us. Because he's obviously over there doing a lot better than we are. Uh, but we'll check him out and see how he's going. So he still has basically the same stuff. He hasn't really made any huge advancements. His, his roof is lower than ours. So I feel like that means that we're richer and better than him. Because <laughs> we have a higher roof. Uh, but he does have lots of chests. And we can look inside of these, but... Uh, farmer's table. This is not a farmer's table. This is a chest. Okay, I guess that's a farmer's table. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, man, I got, I got a glitch. Let's get rid of that. By looking at that and then going away. And there we go. We got rid of that glitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore this world a little bit because we haven't really explored much. Uh, and I want to sort of see what's around and what we can mess with and what we can't. And uh, what other resources are sort of around. You can see under here, under the water, there's definitely some resources. I feel like it's uh, not a good idea to stay under the water, though. All right, let's go check out this person's house. What do you have over here? You just sort of have a, a sacrificial table, it looks like. This is where they sacrifice their bunnies and wolfies. I don't really have much going on in here. Ooh, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Can I? Yeah, let's just not. <laughs> I'm very sorry for destroying your home, but that was bad. Why did you have that there? Okay, we'll just throw this over here. Just leave it there. We don't really need the wood, but it looks like that's just an abandoned, unclaimed house. Or they did claim it. They claimed a little portion of the place uh, right here. Uh, but they didn't claim their house, it looks like. Okay, we're going to try and swim across the ocean. Let's see exactly how long this ocean is. It's pretty long. It's pretty long ways. But this will eventually lead back to our home, and I really want to know what it, what all we have over here. Okay. <laughs> this does get really deep. Is there some sort of secret at the bottom of the ocean? That'd be really neat. Show me a secret. Show me something really cool down here. It would seem there are no secrets at the bottom of the ocean, sadly. <laughs> um, there's just lots of rocks and lots of water. But we did actually swim all the way across the ocean, and now we're to the other side. And it looks like there's some fallen animals over here, so that's sad. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and collect up this carcass, because we don't want to just leave these dead animals, because that's uh, bad for the environment and good for us if we do eat them. So <laughs> we got some more elk meat, which is great. That's good news for us. Oh, no, there's a dead bunny over here, too. And the elk was just right down there, and now there's a dead bunny. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you're in the hunt for meat, you can just go ahead and look around, and apparently the animals just die out on their own. Uh, <laughs> so you should be able to find something. But I think we did find gold, you guys. That's pretty cool. I don't know how rare that is. That might be super rare. Uh, but to me, it doesn't seem super important. But it is, it is really neat to <laughs> spot something like that. Now we know where to come back 
We just swim across the ocean to the other side of the world, uh, and it's over there. All right, we've just about come full circle. We're back over here in this open meadow, and I think I did see something over here. Another dead bunny. Oh, these poor bunny rabbits. They just drop dead a lot. It, I don't know what's happening to them. <laughs> They're dying out pretty quickly. I guess they probably reproduce a little bit faster, but they seem to be dying a lot, so... Hmm. It kind of worries me for our world a little bit. Maybe I chopped down too many trees. But I don't feel like it's entirely my fault. Like, when I came over here, there weren't any animals over here. They're all over there. So, surely I haven't made that big an impact. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to look and wait and see what happens to this world overnight. <laughs> Hopefully nothing too terrible. So we're going to go ahead and load up some stuff into our chests, just like the more important stuff we want to make sure that we don't lose, because I'm not really sure how the game works. So hopefully this isn't totally screwing us over by doing this. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, but we're going to leave even our deed in there. Okay. And the carpentry skill book. And everything else can stay in our inventory for now. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and... Why why did you give this to me? I don't I don't want that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and end this episode here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Eco. It's a very interesting game. Of course, links and information is in the description below. If you guys do want to try it for yourselves, maybe you'll run into me on some server someday. You've probably somehow found out what server I'm on and could probably join it and ruin everything if you wanted to. Um, but... Please don't. <laughs> um, but I just sort of joined random servers, so you might very well run into me. As there's not a lot of people playing right now, but I'm sure many more, many more will play as this game does get farther in development and eventually come to Steam. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's a great game. Definitely suggest giving it a look. <laughs> what is happening?